was taken off medication and to find the cause of my blood clots. And it was then that they found that it was triggered by the combined contraceptive pill. When I was given the pill, I didn't take much consideration into the illnesses that I could get. I think a lot of medications come with a long list of you could get, <laughs> and I think it's quite normal just to, to ignore them, unfortunately. For me, um, I was one of the statistics. Just after diagnosis, I felt that I wouldn't want to do anything to up my risk of having another blood clot. I felt so strongly about the risk of my mortality that when I first started dating my partner, I wasn't sure to date him at all. I felt a fear that if, <laughs> if he started dating this girl and she died, how would that impact on his life? And then the risk of having a, a father and a baby without a mother, which to me is just the most heartbreaking thing. I suffer from survivor's guilt and it's the stories about the mums that don't survive that um, because my lungs were filled with these blood clots and I didn't even know and these ladies have the risk and they don't always know that they're at risk. The combined oral contraceptive pill is actually a risk factor for having DVT because it contains oestrogen and it's the oestrogen which makes blood sticky. And if you have a deep vein thrombosis or a pulmonary embolism on the pill, we wouldn't give the combined pill again, but there's lots of good options to use for contraception. So we have the progesterone only pill, which has no oestrogen in it, also known as the mini pill. And then we have the progesterone implant. And lastly, we have coils. And for women who have to take long-term anticoagulation, we particularly like the marina coil, which tends to reduce bleeding.